Hey, what's going on? Hope that you're doing well right now. I'm glad the Lord let us both here together on this video. It's kind of cool. Like sometimes I'll, I'll, uh, I want to do my video earlier. Like I didn't want to wait this long, but I had, but I had company, you know, and, and, uh, but I know I can always trust in the Lord that he's going to like connect me with the right people at that time, you know, that need to hear, you know, what he has to say during that time. So, so I think that's incredible. So, so I'm glad the Lord let us both here right now. And, uh, yeah, that's a good thing. It's Monday, Monday night over here about nine o'clock. It's been a good day. It's going to be a good week. You know, we got God going before us, you know, God leading the way, the creator of the heavens and the earth is saying, come on, come this way. I got the plan. I got good plans for you. Follow me. You know, I got this design for you. That's incredible. You know, the same God that parted the sea, you know, for the Israelites and then had a collapse on their enemies. You know, that's the God that we have. And, you know, sometimes we've gotten ourselves in some bad situations, you know, doing our own thing. And we're wondering, like, how are we ever going to get out of this? You know, and the Lord's got a way just like he had a way for them. You know, we just got to follow him. You know, one little, one little instruction at a time, just obedience, you know. He'll get you, he'll get you out. He wants to give us a good life, each one of us. Doesn't matter what happened. That's incredible. Thank you, God. Thank you for your spirit inside of us that leads us, Lord. It shows us the right way to go no matter what, because you already knew what was going to happen before it even happened. And you do have the way. You are the way, the truth, and the life. So thank you, Lord. Just continue to lead us. Let your will be done always. Deliver us from the evil one. We know the evil one. He's trying to entice us off of that perfect path that you have. You know, and when, and when he can't do that, he's just going to make accusation. You know, you can't do that. You know, all kinds of different things, you know, to make us, make us fear, make us depressed, you know. So, Lord, deliver us from the evil one. Lead us not into temptation. We want your way. So thank you, God. Thank you for your presence. I want to read a little bit right now your word, Lord. I want to read about your church. I want you to speak to us. I want you to tell us what you want us to hear. All scriptures breathed out by you, God. It's used for correction, equipping us for good works. It's used for us getting to know you. It's used for a lot of things, Lord. We just want to write it on our hearts. We want us to be part of us. We want to keep it, Lord. We don't want this to go in and in one ear and right out the other. We want this to become a part of us. That's how we walk with your spirit, God. The spirit and the word are, are, are together. So thank you, Lord. Speak to us, Lord. So yeah, for my job, told this before but I pressure wash uh, well they work on they build these new houses you know and I pressure wash them at the end like right before they're about to show them you know because because the because they get all muddy and you want the you know you want the driveway and everything to be good and clean the garage all all cleaned out the back patio and all that stuff so um, I do that and at the end when they're done building them and then all throughout the the building process we're going to pick up the garbage that's laying around you know um, and uh and the wood as well whatever wood scraps we take those to the you know to the to the recycle you know they chop it up and make a sawdust or whatever so but but anyway so i get to watch all these different parts of these houses because i'll be at a housing development right and and uh and there'll be at different stages on all of them so you know they'll put in the foundation frame it you know and then uh you know they'll do the elect electric you know you got you got drywall, you got siding, carpet, tile, all kinds of different things. Landscaping, plumbing. So, um, but every part is important, you know. And, uh, you know, the goal is for them to build a house, you know, a nice house. And then sell it. That's the goal. So everybody's uh, contributing to do that. You know, and they need, you know, they don't need five painters, you know. 
they need one. They need they need one paint. They need one painter. You know, one painting group. And they need you know somebody doing this. Everybody has to do their own thing. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the church. Only we're not. You know, we're not doing a house. The church's purpose is to to bring people into the kingdom. You know, to win souls. And it's the same way. You know, we need everybody working together. Each one of us has a gift. You know that that we need to contribute to that you know and we can't be just sitting it out because like you know if the if the if the guy that puts the you know if the painter doesn't show up you're gonna have a house that's not painting you know so we need every every part you know let me read a let me read a scripture real quick you know, uh, in fact the human body is not one single part but but rather many parts mingled into one so if the foot were to say, since I'm not a hand, I'm not a part of the body, it's forgetting that it's still a vital part of the body. And if the ear were to say, since I'm not an eye, I'm not really a part of the body. It's forgetting that it's still an important part of the body. Think of it this way. If the whole body were just an eyeball, how could it hear sound? And if the whole body were just an ear, how could it smell different fragrances? Uh, but God has carefully designed each member and placed it into the body to function as he desired as he desired a, a diversity is required for if the body consisted of one single part there wouldn't be a body at all so now we see that there are many different parts and functions but one body it would be wrong for the eye for the eye to say to the hand I don't need you and equally wrong if the head said to the foot I don't need you in fact, the weaker our parts, the more vital and essential they are. The body parts we think are less honorable, we treat with greater respect. And the body parts that they, they need to be covered in public, we treat with propriety and clothe them. But some of our body parts don't require as much attention. Instead, God has mingled the body parts together, giving greater honor to the lesser members who lacked it. He has done this intentionally so that every member would look after the others with mutual concern and so that there would be no division in the body and that way whatever happens to one member happens to all if one suffers everyone suffers if one is honored everyone rejoices first corinthians 12 14 to 26. so um so yeah the body needs each one of us you know and, and uh we need to Figure out what kind of gifts we have, you know, where what, what we can be doing, you know. We can't be sitting out because we need you, you know. And, uh, you know, a good start is always going to your church, you know. And, and if you don't know where to serve, usually they'll, they'll, they'll set you up. There's, uh, there's things online that you can fill out, you know. It'll tell, you know, ask you what you're good at and this and that. And, all these things, but there's spiritual gifts, there's other, other kinds of gifts, you know. But like I said, uh, well, well, like he said, you know, no parts uh, more important than the other. You know, the one, what did it say? Yeah, they treat with greater respect, the other ones. The, the, um, the ones that are less honorable, so kind of like my job, pressure washing, everybody else is out there. Uh, Building stuff, you know, important stuff, stuff that you got to be, you know, but, um, but yeah, I'm just out there spraying around, but it's important, you know, that's what gives the good driveway, you know, when you, when you look at the house, so there's no part more important than the next, the preacher to the one that's serving the coffee, you know, it's all, it's all the same, you know, it all works together, you don't want five painters, you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, I just, I just want to encourage you to, to seek your gift, you know, and, and, uh, not your gift, but your gifts and the things that you're good at and look for, for an opportunity to serve, you know, and, and as a body, you know, it says when one part suffers, we all suffer. So, you know, if the, if the guy that frames the walls doesn't show up, there ain't going to be no walls. So we need to go to the person, the framer that isn't doing that, you know, and, and try to encourage them to 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 do to do something you know um, if that makes sense you know just trying to encourage one another into yeah it's that verse I, I didn't even put that verse but yeah let's spur 
spur one another on into acts of love, you know, try to get people uh, motivated. So, because there's people out there that need saved. We, we all have loved ones that are out there that, that it ain't looking good for, you know. So if we work together the way the Lord has it, you know, his will, his body, you know, we can, we can do something. We could have this place coming alive. So thank you, Lord. We just pray that you make it come alive. We pray that you lead each one of us, Lord, that are that are that are praying together right now to you, Lord. We're just asking you to uh, to use us for your kingdom, Lord. Help us uh, help us to figure out where you want us to be, Lord. Lead us. We want to be most effective for your kingdom, whatever that be. If that's cleaning toilets at the church or or preaching on Sundays, it doesn't it doesn't matter, Lord. We want to do what you have for us. So thank you, Lord. All right, y'all, have a good one. Don't forget to testify about the goodness of Jesus. All right, bye.